I know that that's what this weekend is all about. Uh, we came to celebrate the life of Houston, and uh, you guys did it upright. Um, many of you know that we lost our older daughter. Uh, well, it's been 11 years now. And uh, I was talking to Houston's father earlier, and we were talking about how a, one of your children can impact a community and you don't even know about it while they're here as much as you do when they're gone. And uh, we certainly had the same kind of an experience. I know that his life must have touched each one of your lives and maybe it continues to touch your life. Obviously he was a, a very uh, well-liked person and, and uh, well, I should say well-loved person. And uh, Skip knew him and uh, Talked to him several times, so he wanted to say a few things before we do this next song. Hi. Um, I was going, kind of walking around today and trying to put together in my mind what I wanted to say, and uh, I realized that there'd be too much to say about Houston and what type of person he was, so I'll make it brief. But uh, one thing I knew about him was that he was not only an excellent performer as a musician, but he was a very much an encourager. And I saw him working very many times with kids, uh, encouraging them to do better. Uh, he was always, had a smile on his face, and you just, you, when you saw him, you just had that warmth that just made you feel at home and you could be yourself and relaxed. And I know he touched the lives of a lot of people and a lot of young people in the bluegrass industry, encouraged a lot of kids to to play and move on. He was a, very much a protector and a defender as a part of the U.S. military. He was a, a go-getter. He didn't try, he did. He didn't wait for it to happen. He made it happen. And there's not enough that can be said about people like that, people like him. And there's I, I, I couldn't say enough about Houston. and We're going to do this next song in dedication to him. I want to send this out to Kenneth, Tess, and Hayden. This one's for you, son.
cost of his life.